This video is a review of the Backman C-Class steam engine. It's a tender engine, um, model number 31460K, C-Class number 689, um, and it's a special edition produced exclusively for the Backman Collectors Club. 21 pin DCC ready model. So it's standard Backman packaging in the card sleeve and the tray is in the plastic um, clear moulding. So let's move the box out of the way. So like I say it's a limited edition model of 504 for the Collectors Club. This is number 323. And it's in the South Eastern and Chatham Railway dark grey livery and it was produced in March 2013 that one. so you've got the little detail sheet for the Wainwright C-Class 060 locomotive so basically the engine part of the um, locomotive i.e. excluding the tender has um, six large wheels and no, none of the smaller wheels so that's the part sheet with the part numbers and whatever for replacements and also there's the product maintenance and care and collector's club information there as well looking after the engine so in the box, I bought this second hand actually you've got the detailing pack with a coupling in there <coughs> bless me um, and the little bits that go underneath the locomotive so let's take it out <clears throat> so like I say, it's a dark grey model, which is what appealed to me really, I collect the silver and grey models. So, very dainty little model, really nice um, looking actually, quite like this one. And obviously it's a Backman, this is the only Backman steam engine that I've got actually, so that's um, quite cool. It's got a coupling fitted at the back, you could actually fit one at the front if you wanted to, you've got the little pocket there for... Um, just behind my thumb for the NEM coupling. It's got a permanent, well, semi permanent cable between the engine and the tender. So you've got a nice, easy to move link there. And in the tender, you've got the little, it's a four pin electric cable plug, um, which obviously um, gets, I would assume, pick up from the wheels um, to pass through to the motor, which is in the front, to give more. Um, contact for reliable running on the layout. So it's number 689. It's got some nice detail at the back. You've got the number 689 at the back as well. And the coupling at the back, like I say. It's um, sprung buffers all round. Um, the wheels have been sort of painted a dark grey, so you might be able to see the contrast between the sort of silver running where the wheel touches the rail and the side is painted grey. And obviously it makes the cog stand out on the side. It's got really nice detailing actually for such a small little engine. The handrails are all um, added in, I assume metal, all individual pieces. Really nice detail on the roof here. Um, and you've got the little detail inside the cab is really, really neat. If I move that out of the way a bit. So you've got like, the gold or brass or coloured boiler effect. And then you've got the hand um, brake and everything like that on the back. Um, I'm not sure. I think the coal is sealed in. I don't think it can be removed. I'm not certain though. I could be wrong on that one. So what I'll do now is I'll um, run it on the layout so you can see it. So the locomotive can be seen in action. I've put a freight load on there, so quite a lot of open wagons. Pulls them really well, as you can see. But on quite a slow speed. So most of the wagons are um, Hornby on there, and there's a couple of Daypole local wagons. There's three of the Hornby line works, then a Hornby, a couple of Daypoles, and there's six Crook and Greenways, and then four Team Valley Granite, which the last two are both Hornby. So I thought the, um, I don't really have any coaches or I wouldn't even know what coaches go with this engine so I thought the mixed freight was probably the most suitable. In the siding is the 08 Hornby Super Detailed DCC fitted sound model with a few sort of traditional wagons as well. So 
see the train just taking the corner across the level crossing. Thank you. 